Did you know that Instagram carousels have the highest engagement rate of all of the posting types on Instagram? Well, this commenter certainly did. And so today we're going to go through just that, how we can go from a Google sheet to bulk create uh, your carousel posts in Canva. And then we're going to go over to make.com so you can post them on autopilot. So if that sounds like something for you, then grab your coffee or your drink of choice and meet me at the computer. Okay, so here we are at the computer and this is just um, a prompt. I'll have this in the uh, description below, but a prompt that we can use in ChatGPT to generate some carousel posts. This is gonna be like a top five type of list. I'm using this for my dog blog. Um, so there we go. So this is really just saying, can you create this list and put it in a chart because I'm going to copy and paste this into Google Sheets. So just let this bake for a second. And you can see it, it's just writing this as we're just sitting here watching it. Here we go. It may take a second, but there we go. It's only five. So here we go. And now what I can do is I can copy this and just paste it into a Google Sheet, like I said. Oh, I missed a T there. There we go. So once we do that, I'm just gonna click Control C and then go over to a Google Sheet right there. Oh, I can get rid of this on the side and just Control V, boom. Now I'm gonna fix this up. I'm just gonna delete that out of there. And I want to be able to read through just to kind of get a sense of how long each of these lines are. And that will be to help inform the size of the, or the dimensions I might want in my uh, template. Cause that's what we're going to do is we're going to template a Canva um, carousel post. So see, this is kind of long. I want to make sure I'll keep an eye on this one to make sure that it doesn't go too long or get cut off. So here we go. And there we go. I just wanted to make sure that I had that done. So with the magic of editing, I was able to flash forward. You didn't need to see me do all of this, but I just wrapped the text just to make it so that I can see it. Now back, now over to Canva, we're going to click create a design. And then just in the search bar here, I'm going to type in a carousel. Because there are a few different types of carousels, as you can see, right? Um, so this one is going to be Instagram post. We'll do Instagram carousels this time. And as this opens up, you can see on the left hand side that there we go, the templates. There are so many different types of templates that are available to you. Some are, if you have a pro account, some are not so much, but uh, there you go. But I created my own template already just so that for the interest of time. So this is kind of the idea. Now, if I click, it might've been cut off there, the four, squares on the bottom right hand corner you can see this and this is the layout right so i want slide one title if you remember the it matches the columns that i had in the google sheet there's little arrows there to indicate to move forward and then the last slide i have an image there like almost like a watermark for some branding and i would strongly recommend that you have some branding at least on your carousels now in order what we can on how to automate this is we can click this in apps bulk create and we're going to enter the data manually. You could upload the CSV, but I'm not going to because I need to add in some uh, pictures. So I'm going to come over here and then I can just sort of select all of this except for the captions column because I don't want that in. There we go. Control C and then click on name here, Control V, and then it just, we have everything fed in. Now I have pictures on there as well, some images. So I'll, I'll if you just click this add an image and I've got that for five of the slides. So I'm just going to click that five times or five, right? Because it's for five slides um, and I have five carousels. So there we go. So I'm all you have to do is just click that plus and go through. It does. It is a little bit painstaking, but we can just kind of rinse and repeat and I will flash forward here as well magic of editing. And there we go. I've gone ahead and added all of those. So now all we have to do is link up our data. So to do that, you click on an element in the um, template and then it, just link it up with whatever the relevant 
uh, section is, right? So slide one title, that's why, so we click connect data, you know, slide one title. That's why I named it that. It's or, that, or it, it aligns rather to the name of um, the Google Sheet. And the image, when you're connecting data, it already knows that that's an image element that you're that you're um, clicking on. So it's really good for that. And so no matter if you've whatever kind of formatting you put the image in, in terms of you know transparency and that, it will already it will keep that formatting the same. And I just realized I clicked the wrong thing. And the reason why I realized that I had the wrong Thing for the title slide is because if we look over on the left here what's in purple or this bluey color is has been connected and the data that hasn't is still in gray so that's kind of visually how you can tell i'm just going to fast forward i've already connected all of my data again you know i'm able to edit this as well so here we go done 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 and so what we can do now is if we hit continue on the bottom, that is going to generate, see, five designs. So just click that. It just takes a second. And here we go. If you scroll through here, it's a good idea just to do that to kind of look through to make sure everything fits and looks the way that you want it. But these look really good to me so far. Follow for more puppy tips. See, there you go. Like this is this is great. This was actually based on one of the templates that's already pre-existing in Canva. So there you go. Not too bad. So when you're happy with the way that yours has turned out, right? Then you can just download it. So uh, scroll all the way up here, and so I'll move that over. So if you click share. And then we're going to download. And then this, once it's finished download, here we go, all pages, 35, it's already in a PNG. So then we can just click the download. And what will happen is that this will now go into your downloads folder, of course. Just give it a second. But it will it'd be in a zip folder. So we're, we'll just unzip that and export those to, um, I'm going to export it to a folder in Dropbox. Give that a moment now this is one way to do it in this video here we we looked at how to go from canva into um the export of design in make.com so here they are what i'm going to do because of the way and i already know how i'm going to map out the thing in make.com i'm going to add a folder here and i'm going to call it rendered because as we go through these i want to move them out of the way so that the make.com scenario doesn't run over the same ones over and over again. So it'll just move these um, into that folder so that the next time the um, automation runs, it'll go. Now, I, I am going to rename these. I could do an automation in make.com to rename these, but there's only 35. The reason why I'm doing that is because make.com sometimes looks at these as alphabetical. So in which case it would be going from 1, 10, 11, as opposed to 1, 2, putting the double zeros in the front or the single zeros for the double digit numbers. That puts it in numerical order for make.com. So now we are over to make.com. If you're finding this video helpful so far, it would mean the world to me if you would hit that subscribe button and don't forget the little bell icon so you don't miss a future video. Now back to the video. So we're just going to create, we're just creating a new scenario. Now in here, we've got our increment function. This is okay. We're just going to move ahead. So what we need to do is get into our Dropbox. We're going to use three Dropbox modules. So this one is just to list all of the files that are in a particular folder. And we're going to select Adorable. And then of course, we've got our Canva carousels. That's it. The limit is going to be seven because we have seven slides per carousel. I'm going to click OK. So we have the beginning, the five tips, and then the call to action at the end, right? So that's seven slides. So the next Dropbox module is going to be create a shareable link because you need that for Instagram. Instagram needs a shareable link. So we're going to link this. So as far as um, mapping this, the file path. We're going to map it back to this path lower. This is really important. Path 
lower. That's the one you want to use. The link's access level is going to be max access because we want it to be able to uh, share into Instagram. And then the next module is throwing those, um, the, the, the ones that are rendered into that other uh, folder. So this Dropbox, what we're going to do is there is a move. If we move down here, move a file folder. So we're going to click on this one. So we're going to move it. So these, we're going to do all three basically at the same time or in very close sequence. So we are going to select a file. We're not mapping it. We're selecting it because we need to select it, like picking it up to move it. Does that, if that makes sense. So it's selecting a file. We're going to map the file and it's going to go back to this list all files. The previous Dropbox module is, of course, just to get the share link. That's all that one's for. This one is where the files are listed. So again, we're going to use this path lower is what we want. So those because those those are the ones that were uh, processed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into, of course, it's my Podorable folder and then into the um, Canva carousels. And then that subfolder that we just added called rendered. That's it. That's all. And then what we can do is just click OK. So the next step is going to sound maybe a little bit weird, but we have to do we have to do all of these at once because it's going to create seven. This is going to have to go through this seven times. But we but in Instagram, they can only take one bundle. So to bundle it, we're going to use this array aggregator. So an array is basically a list and aggregate just means to put it together. So it's just going to be one big bundle. So right now we're going to map it back to that first Dropbox custom. There's nothing there. Just leave it as custom for now. That's fine. And you can select like the downloadable URL, which is fine. So we're going to click OK. We have to come back to this. So just remember this custom one. So now you can see because we linked it to that first Dropbox module, this is going to basically combine everything that was done in, in Dropbox. Now this one doesn't mean anything. It just means you can't end a scenario with um, one of these tools or yeah, the flow control. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just go into our Google sheets because we, we want to lift the caption for Instagram. So we're going to just go into uh, search rows as we normally do in um, the Google sheets. And we're going to go through the spreadsheet ID here. And then the sheet name is sheet one, has headers. We're going to say A to Z, Z because I'm Canadian, but Z because we don't need all the wasted space. We're going to order this by the row number, which is a number. Uh, there we go. It's not a string. String just means letters, like words. And then the limit, we're going to say one because we only want this to go through once. We don't need to go through a bunch of times. And then we're going to add in the get cell because we just want the one cell. Uh, that has our thing. Okay, so we're going to go into here. The carousels, that's the sheet, right? The sheet, it's just sheet one. And the cell, you can see here from the previous module, it's in column N. I clicked it by mistake. So we just type in N, and then the cell number, we're going to link it back to that increment, the very first module, so that we can pick that specific cell. Okay, and now we can end up with our Instagram for business module. And it's going to be create a carousel post. There we go. We don't need to worry about the files and adding them individually. We can map this now back to our array. And it just stays in that array. We don't need anything in the sub um, pieces of this. It's the full on array, the full on bundle, as it were. The caption is just going to come from what we just added, the Google Sheet. That's the value. And just click OK. Now, remember, I said we have to come back to this array aggregator. But that's because now we can now, now that the Instagram for Business module is there, we can link up the structure type to that. See? In the down, uh, we have to select image. And the photo URL, we're going to go back. We're going to go right here to the create the share link, the share link one. So we need this, and it's just the download URL from the second Dropbox module there.
So it is kind of going a little bit backwards. But if we go back into the Instagram, you can see it's still array. Nothing has changed here. You don't have to worry about that. And of course, the value for the caption is going to stay the same. It comes from the Google Sheet. So I'm going to just rename this so that we have, I probably should have done that to begin with. I usually do it at the end. I probably shouldn't do it at the end. But this particular workflow, I'll also have it in the um, description below, linked in the description below for you. But this is really how it works. And it's good to know how it works. There we go. Now this Google Sheet, of course, if we run this the first time, this tools is going to say one. But the one is going to be our header row. So we just kind of right click that run at once. So now if we run it, the tools will say two. So when we go into that Google, get the cell, it's going to be N2. So now we're going to click run. I'm going to just kind of move in. Zoom in. You can see these numbers going up. See how this is just running the first seven. Go look at the move automatically in our Dropbox seven. And now if we go over to the Instagram, here I'm just going to refresh it. So you can see this is brand spanking new. There we go. There's nothing there. Let's go right. Oh, goodness. Ah, it's working through Instagram now. That always takes a second, right? But now you can see how it's run through all seven in the Dropbox. It's created an array or that a bundle uh, from the array aggregator. We've lifted the caption, and now it's just kind of chugging through in Instagram to create this carousel post. So we're just going to give this a second here. Hit a refresh. Look, it's there already. Good. So there it is. And we can take a look through. Um, yep, we've got our good. There it is. Look, one. We can scroll right through here. And it fits perfectly. All of the pages are here. And now if we want to run it again, in the Dropbox folder, we're going to be starting from kind of the next slide, but this is it. I'm going to hit a like. Why not? I like my own stuff for sure. And there it is for you. And now you're ready to automate all of your Instagram carousels. So there you have it, a way to simplify the carousel creation process for Instagram and then to completely streamline and automate posting those uh, carousels on your Instagram account. If you found this video useful, then it would mean the world to me if you would hit that subscribe button and uh, leave a comment if there are any other topics that you would like for me to cover on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy automating.